Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to share the Nutcracker die from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, I thought we'd put it together. There's a lot of little pieces and I thought I'd share that with you. Um, let me show you um, the first one I put together. Um, here he is. He is so stinking cute. Like super, super cute. Look at all the little details, all the little, you know, pieces here. He's just adorable. Oh, and look at, I just noticed one of my, um, one of my diamond dots fell. I was like, hey, what happened there? Do you guys see that? Here, let's add a little glue. And... Uh, and I think my glue is stuck. Let's do a little poking here. And let's add a little bit of glue and flip. There we go. I don't know what happened. This one moved too. It's in our excitement that I think I think it dries fast but you know it still needs it still needs time okay there there we go all better but look at how cute look at these tiny tiny buttons here at least I think that's where they were supposed to go but oh, Oh my God, I practically had to put on two pairs of um, um, reading glasses <laughs> because look at how tiny they are. But all these little details are so cute. So, so cute. So I want to put him together with you. Um, but first I want to identify all the pieces. So first, you know, it comes with these, these four body pieces. Oops. I just moved my camera. Um, and these two are the same. So this is the main foundation one. And as you could see, it's the same. Because you could do the foundation for the Nutcracker. And then also you could do it as a shaker. So... I'm going to put one set aside because this is for the this is for the shaker and I'm not doing that today. These are the two that I'm using today because we're going to build a nutcracker out. So I have already cut those two pieces. Here's my foundational white and I had the, the thin um, foam glitter so I'm going to use that as my base um, I know I've seen and as I do this I'm going to head and glue it as I introduce it I know depending um, some of the girls that I've seen they will um, cut multiple foundational pieces or layering pieces just to make it sturdier depending on what they're making um, which that's a good idea. I've seen the foam as well. Um, just for the sake of getting this done, I pulled out my glitter foam and it's not super thick, but it does give me some dimension. Of course, the bad thing about this, it sheds. So I'm going to be all glittery for the rest of the day. Okay. So we have him down and now let me show you the pieces so i've outlined them um just so you identify what piece is what so let me go ahead and take my camera so i could get you a little bit closer hold on a second i'll be right back okay so here are let's start with these pieces so this is his hat and crown or maybe it's a crown i see 
the one on the right hand side as a little hat and then the crown goes over it but i think it's all a crown so but i did two different colors where you could do the same and then this piece here this is the torso so we have this piece which is the shoulders and this goes first and then this piece lays on top and then this is his um little hair right so you could do it white brown gray black and then of course this is his face these are his legs this is what the die piece looks like <clears throat> and then of course there's this die piece oh my god so many pieces so these are the boots boots these go on top of the boots kind of giving them that 3d kind of boot feel um this goes on top of his hat or his crown this is his belt his buckle um these are his hands these are his shoulder pads and this is his neck um collar so i have them all here and then there's his face where's his face oh his face is right there um and i went ahead and cut out the eyes in black but his mustache and nose and eyebrows will be white and then there's this itty bitty little piece which are his um his top of the the crown um his buttons his little tiny buttons for the boots um i'm gonna use these um double how should i say this on his button his torso and the boots and then there's the cuffs so i made another set of those but this is what it cuts out so let's go ahead and get started and i'll be right back let me put my camera back okay so we're gonna start i'm gonna start with his hair um i like to start like at midpoint and work myself up and down i always sometimes you know might go a little bit too up or down so this kind of helps me um it's just that that you know that death and so the next thing is i'm going to add his little hat or crown um and i want to pop it up a little bit but i don't want to pop it too much and i don't have thin pop-up dots actually i had received gifted uh, i was gifted these really thin ones that just barely and i love them but i can't find them so my trick is to add a little bit of hot glue just to give me that pop and of course when you do a thin layer it um it dries quickly so then i quickly add another layer so that'll be my my glue so here it is and mainly i use the hot glue here just because it's it's um it's this um glitter that doesn't let you adhere i mean not that it doesn't let you adhere but um you know it'll come off so let me go ahead and add the crown since i'm here and i just want to see it on so let's do that <clears throat> so adding a little bit of hot glue blowing on it and it'll give me and i don't press it that way it gives me that popped look as you could see and ta-da there you go and then from this piece here is oops 
Gotta be careful with these little suckers. There's this almost like bow and that goes on the crown as well. So I'm putting hot glue and it goes, oops, I almost did it backwards. And it goes right here. Especially with glitter, you can't really see it. I was actually trying to look for red mirror paper so I could do like the glitter in the mirror, but I didn't have any, or I can't find it. So we're stuck with that. So now we're gonna put his little face on, which maybe I should have done that first because we gotta cover it up. But that's okay because we're gonna put it in there, All right? And I'm gonna show, oopsie. So sometimes I do these oopsies and I just open it up so I could put it in. Let's see, let me lay it down. So I could do this better. And when I hold it down, um, I don't destroy it too bad. There, there, there we go. Ta -da. Okay, so now let's put his, um, Okay, let me move these as I start using them. Let me move them. Let's put on his torso. Shall we? I love this paper and I can't remember the collection. Now you wanna be careful. I don't know if you see the embossing of the shoulders. Make sure you don't put it upside down. But again, it's the foundation that should keep you in line, right? And again, I'm, because I'm gluing it to glitter, I'm having to hold it a little bit longer than I usually should have to. But he's coming along. So stinking cute. So at this point, I'm gonna do the legs because they're probably, um, they should go under. And as you see, the wider and it narrows, so the wider part, of course, are the thighs. So they go up here. And I like to tuck them in there. Don't necessarily have to touch the bottom because the boot's gonna go there. So don't worry about that. At least I didn't. Right? But you wanna get them straight in there. There we go. There we go. Okay, he looks tucked. He looks tucked and he looks so cute. Okay, now let's put on his torso, the middle torso. And I would definitely pop this. Um, so I'm doing that. So cute. So, so cute. I might have done it a little crooked, but that's okay. That's why I don't like to, even though it's hot glue, I don't press it down. 
and I lift it up, I should be okay. <gasps> so cute. And so I do this, and I do this. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna put his cuffs. So see his cuffs go right here. So I'm gonna do his cuffs, his cuffs. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So these are his cuffs over here. So you see them. See? And it's the straight side that you wanna put on the inside. Is it the straight side? Did I do it wrong? I don't know. Because this is the... Oh no, maybe it's the... Oops, I did it wrong. So it's the... There we go. There we go. So the straight side is on the outside. Right? Oh God, am I doing that wrong? You know, the curved side is on the outside, yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then here, let's put on his shoulders. Here, let me get my little, you definitely want to use this tool. So we'll put his little shoulders on. Cute as that. And then we'll put his little collar. Right here, which is this little piece. There we go. Let me get some of this glue that's visible to me out. Here are his little his little hands. So they would be the color of his face. And we do the straight line. Yep. And the curved side out. There. Now we're going to do his little belt. Let's put his little belt right around here. So this is his belt. Oops. And then the belt buckle is over here. So here, hold on, let me put on some glue because I need both hands. And let's, oops. Okay, we can fix it together. I feel like I'm whispering. I feel like I'm talking to myself. I mean, I am, but you're there. Or you're going to be there, I hope. There we go. What do you guys think? Oh, so cute. Let's put his little, let's put his little pom-pom up here. Which is right here. Sorry if I keep going out of the camera. I'm not like, it's kind of hard. Putting this together. Okay, so we're gonna add his boots. So I decided to do 
white boots. Oh, they look beautiful. White boots. See, and this should be your, hold on. This should be your guide right there. I mean, I'll take every type of guide. Like I know it's at the bottom too, but I'll take all of them, please. Okay, what is this look? Crooked. Is it crooked to you? Okay. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do the boots front so it has that bubbly boot effect. How cute is that? Okay, so this is the part where I did, um, um, oh my God, did I do the wrong one? No, I didn't. Um, I cut this part twice because um, I saw this from the girls. So I saw, I really like this up here and I don't know if it was meant to be here. Oh, I guess it doesn't show since I, I mean, it doesn't really stand out like my other one because I have red on red, but maybe I could leave like a little line. What do you think? just a little. I don't know. I'm telling you when you glue glitter on glitter, it's like. <sighs> um, I feel like one of them is more. Can you tell? Yeah. Okay. And um, did I do the wrong one? Maybe. Oh, maybe I was supposed to do this one. I saw some of the girls, I think, put it here. What do you think? Should I add this here and then do the buttons? Or should I just do the buttons? That might be a little bit too much red. What do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know. But what we are going to do... Maybe I'll just do the buttons. Okay, so do you see how it embosses on the boot? So we're going to put the glue dots. Uh, and that already is a lot. Ugh, I know. Okay. Um, let me set these aside because I don't know if I'm... But look at... Uh, I'm not even going to move them from here. But look at how tiny these are. Look at, look at how tiny this is. Can you even see it? Okay, so I'm just gonna put her on before I like sneeze and lose them or something. And then I'll fix them. <gasps> oh, especially when they fall upside down. I'm like, where did it go? You can't see the white on white. So I was thinking of doing diamond dots, but that would have been like really big. Um, but maybe next time I do it, I'll try it. I don't know if anybody's tried the diamond dots or if there's a smaller little jemmies, cause look at how tiny these, I mean, anything you put on, it's, they're so tiny. Hey, but I think I did a pretty good job on landing them where they should be. But look at how cute that is. Yeah, I'm not even gonna squash them down because um, they might come up. Okay, and I think I might just do the buttons. Um, unless, 
I don't know. I don't know. Some of the girls did um, this here. But I don't know if they added the collar. It just seems like it's too much because it he already has a collar. So maybe I won't. Um, maybe I'll just do the... It comes with four buttons, but I'm just going to do three. I think in my... My um, my first one, I did two buttons because they're pretty, and I'll clean that up once it adheres. Yeah, what do you think of the three buttons? So in my pink one, see, I did two buttons. I guess I could have done all the way over here. Maybe I'll do more. Maybe I'll do three more. Okay. Now let's do, look at how cute he looks. Oh my God, I love him. Love him. Okay, let's do his face. Um, and this is what I do. I just kind of like, okay, his beard is going to go there, there. Oh, I might have to do this beard. I think I must have cut it wrong. Do you see that? Um, we're going to do his nose. We're going to do his eyes, eyes, eyebrows, eyebrows. Okay. Yes, I do do it this way. So here's his nose. Here's his eyes. I'll fix them in a bit. And then his eyebrows. Oops. And his last eyebrow. Oop. Oof. Telling you these little pieces. Okay. Now let's fix him. This excessive glue. And then we'll fix his little... How do you guys do the face? Am I doing it hard? I feel like one of his eyebrows is different than the other. Maybe they went by, they're not supposed to be sister. I mean, they're not supposed to be twins. They're supposed to be sisters. They are. Look how cute he is. So cute. Um, you could do, I don't know if these belong here as well. I guess you could. Um, I did diamond dots and my other ones. Maybe I'll do, um, I don't know, maybe I won't. I'll see. Um, and I think, again, the buttons, you get four of them. Um, maybe two here, two there. I don't know. But I did three. I might do three more. But I like him like this. But uh, this is the best. These little boots. How cute is that? Okay. Now I'll be right back. Let me show you what I'm going to, um, how I'm going to set him up. Okay. Be right back. Okay. I'm back. So remember I showed you the first one that I did. Here's my little guy. He's so cute. So cute, and I just finished this one up, and this is what I made with him. Look at he's so pretty. I love I love this um color combo, first of all. Like you can't go wrong. But look at he's so cute. So um I made a gift box. 
as you could see. And trust me, I'm not the greatest one when it comes to math measurements. Um, but I made this little gift box, look at the top, and added some of this ribbon. I didn't want to add it all around because I thought it would be too much. Just wanted a little bit. And what I did is I am made a whole bunch of like gift tags for a friend. And I kept it to the color theme. And um, I did not have little tabs. Um, I think Scrap Diva has um, a die set, but I never purchased it. And so I busted out my Cricut and I made these. So I'm going to gift this. What a fun way, right? And so easy. All you run is you run the foundational piece and then the stitching piece. And I made sure that it had a clean back. So for example, for this one, they could put two from here or leave it blank, two from here. Um, I didn't want to embellish them. I just wanted to give them a tag set. And so like for this one, they have the back where they could put to and from, but you know, they have a variety of choice, but isn't that cute? So fits perfect and I have to be careful because of the this 3D like rope trim that I added and I think it turned out so cute but he is so adorable love him love the pink love the red I'm just he is just cute Anyways, um, if you haven't picked them up, you must. I mean, the paper piercing, you think it's a lot, but really, once you identify what piece is what, all you do is just, you know, coordinate your paper. And it was pretty easy. You saw me put it together. So stop by her website. I'll link her website below. Um, make sure you use my code, Lillian10, so you could save 10%. Um, and if you do pick it up, I can't wait to see what you what you create. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.